Okay, so here's my third video, and I'm going to make this my final video. So this is a, basically a question and answer section of the video. Um, I've done a lot in 2017. I probably did more video rants here than I've ever done in my life on anything at all. And again, first, let me apologize for that. Because if I, as I tell you guys in plenty of my videos before, that I never set out for this to be a rant channel at all, ever. Secondly, let me thank you, um, loyal 25 followers, one more time. Let me thank you for that because, you know, I'm glad I have at least 25 followers. Somebody just sent me a happy new year. Sorry. Anyway. Yeah. All right. So, what I have to say. All right. I got a lot of things about racism. I got a lot of things about Trump. I got a lot of things about these fucking statues and the death of Mrs. Hire. I got a lot of things that a lot of you guys probably aren't even aware about. And that's fine and dandy, because you know, if you're not living in my city, you're living in your city, and what's going on in your city might be a little bit more important to you than what's going on in mine. And you know what? Honestly, ain't a damn thing wrong with that. Because you need to know what's going on around you. Because what you don't know can kill you. Now, as a martial artist, this channel was meant to do nothing but martial arts. Clearly, we can all spell epic fail, E-P-I-C-F-A-I-L, and I've done a lot of things. So, I want to do more. I want to do more martial art based stuff. But when I go back through my videos and look at the comments or whatever, I get like maybe two or three views from you guys and like really nothing. So I think uh, next week or this week coming up, I'm going to watch some of my videos just to check out the reviews. And I'm going to write them down on index cards and I'm going to read them off. And uh, I'll, do an I'll do a report on that and you guys can tell me what do's and don'ts of the channel should like. And like I said, you know, I really just wanted to do this as a martial arts channel with an open door so I can teach Kung Fu for free by making Kung Fu movies to support myself in the dojo. However, as the hands of fate have slapped me one more time in the face, that tends to be the thing. I get really close to that brass ring and then somebody snatches it away from me. In this case, having a hip replacement has pretty much probably made me on the blacklist for ever doing another kung fu movie ever again. I like to say fuck that shit and I will do kung fu again because this year I'm going to call a Dr. Sergeant. I'm going to ask if I can start doing jogging or some kind of training or something because this shit here, something has to change. And in, in light of that, as I end this video, you know, because other people are sending me more texts, I want, I want you guys to know that I'm not quitting. This fire's just getting started. And hopefully by the time I'm 45, I will be a working actor. Whether it's in Hollywood, New York, Florida, Nickelodeon, Ninja Turtles, wherever the hell it is. If it's in Asia, I'll take the job. Probably not porn, but if that's all I can get, I'll take that job too. I'm James Jr. Happy New Year. Aloha. Be seeing ya.